Hi everybody and welcome to Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ, the creator of the Ultimate Weight Loss Program, and this is where I show you recipes that will help you achieve healthy, permanent, and sustainable weight loss. But first, a question from Dory who asks, what the healthiest dessert is? Well, Dory, it depends who I'm talking to. If you're somebody still eating the standard American diet with sugary, floury desserts, with hydrogenated oil, any oil for that matter, animal products like eggs and dairy products, then I recommend my new ebook called A Date with Dessert, where all the recipes are made from the fruit, the whole fruit, and nothing but the fruit. All the recipes are gluten-free, and these are the recipes that I actually made when I was executive pastry chef for five years at Sante Restaurant. They're all gluten-free, only one of them has flour, and actually that one you can actually substitute if you like, and these never were available until now. So if you're somebody eating Cinnabons and Pop-Tarts, well then I recommend this is the healthiest dessert. However, if you're somebody that's struggling with your weight, if you're in the Ultimate Weight Loss Program and haven't achieved goal weight, if you're someone suffering from food addiction, then believe it or not, the healthiest dessert, in my opinion, is no dessert, followed by the second healthiest dessert, which would be fresh fruit, and the third healthiest dessert, which would be like a frozen fruit sorbet, which I'm gonna show you how to make today. And my new book, The Secrets to Ultimate Weight Loss, there's only 10 dessert recipes out of 117 recipes. Whereas if you have my book on processed, you'll know that not only did I start the recipe section with desserts, because I said life is uncertain, eat dessert first, there were 35 out of 109 recipes. And eight out of the 10 recipes are frozen fruit desserts. Two of them are starch-based, they're special occasion desserts. But in the second breakfast chapter, there's things like apple pie rice pudding, apple squares, cram muffins, and uh, the mill oat muffins, which are, they, they could technically be dessert, I suppose. So I'm gonna show you how to do frozen fruit sorbet in three different machines. I actually have five of them. I'm only gonna be using three of them. One of them is called the Yonanas machine. That's one of the ones I'm not using. If you wanna see me use that, please go to episode 101 of Healthy Living with Chef AJ, and along with Dr. Esselstyn, we make banana ice cream. It's a great machine for home use, but if you're serving more than a couple people, it may not be strong enough. Usually I'm serving 20 people in a class setting, but if it's just you and your family, these are great, very affordable machines. I've seen them for about 50 bucks at Bed Bath & Beyond and Costco and Target, Bed Bath & Beyond. You could use your 20% off coupon. Great machine. One of the machines I'm not going to use in this episode, but we'll use it in a future episode because one of the book recipes in my books use it, is called the Cuisine Art Fruit Scoop. Now what I like about that machine is it uses room temperature fruit and there's times that I just don't have a frozen fruit or the bananas aren't ripe, so that's a cool machine which I'll show you in another episode and it actually whips it so it's really cool. But these are more maybe common machines and maybe you have one of them. Now in my opinion, the one that makes the creamiest ice cream is the Champion Juicer. It's actually a juicer, but it makes unparalleled fruit sorbets because it's a masticating juicer instead of a centrifugal juicer. And it just makes it so creamy with no ingredient other than fruit. I make this all the time in my classes and people go, what did you put in this? And I said, well, a banana. I'm not gonna do banana today, everybody does banana. And actually a lot of the participants in the Ultimate Weight Loss Program overdo banana, eating five or six a day because they're so high sugar and low water. We're gonna use mangoes and cherries, which make fantastic sorbets. I get the big organic bags of frozen fruit at Costco. Now, if you're using the Champion Juicer as a juicer, you would use this little screen, the juice would come out. But if you're using it to make sorbet, you use what's called the blank, this other piece, and that is so funny, it always falls on the ground. And then you, look what's happening here. There we go. And you put in the blank. Make sure that goes on. All right. Whoa, I'm falling in right? my own kitchen. Let me wash this off right now. There we go. That's the little pusher you need. Okay, all right. So, we're gonna put this on. It's plugged in, and really all you do is turn it on like this. That's all you have to do. And I've got this little cute cup that looks like an ice cream cone. I'm gonna make Eden a serving. I'm gonna put some fresh blueberries on it. I love when I have company to make a Sunday bar, and so I'll do different flavors of frozen fruit. I'll do mango and pineapple and banana and cherry. 
and um, we'll set out all the fresh fruit and even maybe some nuts and coconut for people and it, they, they go crazy. So using the organic mango chunks from Costco and all I do is turn it on and put it in and where'd my little pusher go? There we go. Gotta have the pusher. like it has cream in it. It's so good. Mango might be my favorite flavor to make, even more than banana. It's so sweet and creamy and delicious. It's not quick. It's easy, but it's not quick. If you can afford this one, I think you'll really like it. Just because the texture is so good. We'll stop now because we're going to use other machines. So, now people say, how long does it last? Well, the truth is, if you don't eat it right away, it will not maintain this texture. I can promise you that. Look at that. Wow. Eden, you can eat while you're working. I'm going to give this to Eden right now, and maybe you'll hear her moaning and groaning <laughs> while we're doing that. Kenny always used to like to eat while we were shooting. So now, not everybody has that machine, but a lot of people nowadays do have a high-powered blender like the Vitamix or the Blendtec, which can also make delicious, creamy sorbets. But I just find for me that if I don't use a little bit of some liquid on the bottom, like some non-dairy milk, this is unsweetened vanilla almond milk, then I just can't get it to blend, and I don't want to burn my machine out. So now we're going to do it in the Vitamix. So again, I'm going to be putting my mango in. I don't measure, it's just fruit. There we go. I'm gonna put the top on. see with the Vitamix you wouldn't do this with a regular machine and we still have some nice fluffy sorbet but I think it's creamier with the champion now you cannot use a regular $15 blender for this now the third machine you can use is a food processor now to use a food processor your fruit has to be cut up so you wouldn't take long bananas that are frozen like you would for the champion juicer I'm using the Cuisinart Fit it with the S blade, and since I'm running out of mango, I'm going to use frozen cherries in this one. And I'm just going to put a few in, and I'm going to use the food processor. that it's a much chunkier texture and I probably would maybe add just the smallest amount of plant milk. I've got to find another carton just to get it to puree. So hopefully you have one of these machines because they're really good for other kinds of recipes as well. But again, if you don't have any of these machines, if you come to California, we actually have places that make this that you can buy with just fruit. We have the Frozen Fruit Co. in Santa Monica and there's pressed juicery, but they do put a little bit of nuts in there, so usually some almonds and sometimes some dates. But these are three great machines that you could make your frozen fruit sorbet with. And you, if you didn't eat it right away, you could freeze it, but it's gonna get pretty hard, so you would probably have to take it out before you ate it if you wanted it soft. So if you can get the Champion Juicer, that's my favorite pick of these three machines. We're gonna show you another one in a future episode. But whatever you get, make your desserts from the fruit, the whole fruit, and nothing but the whole fruit. Thanks so much for watching Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ, and I make healthy taste delicious so that you can have both the health and the body you so richly deserve. Thanks.